Hey, here we are live at Highline Community College for another Truling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Excel is fun and Excel uh, is funner. Sup? Sup? Isaac, what do you have for us today? Uh, math and Excel. Math and Excel. I know it doesn't look like a calculator. No, it doesn't look like a calculator at all. There's no buttons. And then, I know, but the keypad does. Oh, uh, okay. And then you just just type 12 times 12. Then you want to put an equal sign, and then go up, <coughs> and then press a multiplication symbol, and then go up. And you can bring these anywhere, both the same one I did and this one. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, ah, you're never gonna get me. How do you jump all the way back to cell A1? Even um, on your way out. Like, if you're lost over here, I don't know how to get help. And then you just go control home. Nice. Wow. And then, nice. boom, you're back to A1. And then go enter. And that's your answer. Look at that. So and I already knew 12. that. And I, re re really. You already knew I, 12 times 12? Yes. That's amazing. So what's 13 times 13? Okay. Shut so, up, so AC. Control, home. How about, how about this? I don't know what a thousand times a thousand is. Equals, go up, do, do, do. It's a million. Yes. That's not correct. Do you know why? Home, oh, look at this. Dollars. Nice. I got that much dollars. I'm rich. All right, hey, let me show you a trick, Isaac. Yeah. yeah. Step aside. So, hey, once you have the 12 times 12, or 12, yeah, 12 times 12 up here, if we needed to see 13 times 13, we don't have to come down here and enter 13. We can just go back to the original cells. I'm going to type 13, control enter. I know that. And it gave us the 161. Well, then why'd you come down here and build a whole new section of the spreadsheet? You did double work. Because I was lazy. Work. No, that wasn't lazy. That it was You did extra work. Okay, six times six. There you go. All right, Mike, what do you have? Six times six? Okay, well, I'm super lazy. So I'm going to say six and then equal sign, up arrow, and Bugs Bunny's favorite number, the number six with a shift. And two, caret two means exponent two. So now hey. I'm super lazy. I just type seven and I get 49. Nine, 13, 169, 18, 289. Oh, a thousand. Oh, Put a thousand. A thousand. A thousand? It's, Look at it's that. Still a million. All right. Now, what's the keyboard this. for that? I think it's Control Shift One. There you go. Shift one. There you go. All right. There we go. Well, that was uh, set. How old are you now? Seven and a half. Yes. Seven and a half. Almost eight. Seven point five. Uh, before and you know, and you'll it be eight. looks like it's now about let's, to Let's rain. make him eight. He's got. He's got to be eight, right? Well, to do that, we just say, hey, we're going to round this to zero decimal places. So right there, decrease decimal, and bam, Excel says you're eight. Congratulations. Sweet. That's the way that Excel rounds numbers. Well, I want to thank Isaac for being here today. Excel is funner. We always have fun. This is our, what, uh, third or fourth year we've been doing these uh, truling Excels. All right. That's we'll see you next time for another Dueling or Truling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and... Excel is fun. And... Excel is funner. All right.